Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to the Polish Potage. I have been outside playing in the garden for a very long time. So long that I lost total track of time. I came outside after church this Sunday and I have been outside ever since. And it's now five o'clock. So <laughs> I got a lot more done than I thought I would. Let me show you kind of where I'm at. The big thing I got done today is this garden. So I actually cleaned up that whole wall over there. I went through the whole back of this garden and pulled up all the baby, um, I had a whole bunch of baby coneflowers that had jumped underneath the fence or underneath the sidewalk. They'd shot out little runners and they were growing here. I boxed those all up for some friends of mine and I got this entire garden cleaned out, weeded, and now I'm planting. So I planted the whole front row here with onions. I have got yellow onions in this first part. In the middle, I've got the red onions, and in the end, I've got the rest of those Ace the Craig onions that I did. And then I went back and I went behind here and I planted all of my beets, which you can't see super good. Hang on a sec here, let me get closer. I have got, hello, big truck, Detroit red beets, golden beets, and some Kyoja beets down on the end. And this is the really pretty trellis that I'm putting up for tomatoes this year. It's like, yeah, like it's a bed frame my sister gave me on either end. And then I've got a cattle panel in the middle and I am going to be planting tomatoes out on this this year and up against this red fence, interspersed with flowers. I think I'm gonna do zinnias in between here and on the back I think I'm gonna do sunflowers and then while doing this I got sucked into cleaning up a whole bunch more over here I went through and just kind of cleaned up anything left over from winter cleaned up all the herbs and stuff I planted some parsley here another parsley there and then I came in and I finally cleaned up this rose bush took off some dead branches and I <laughs> I had hooked it to my side. You can see those hooks there and there to try and branch it out more, but the wind has pulled on it. I think I'm gonna have to tie it to those, but I'm trying to spread that out so all the different canes go kind of in different directions, but that rose bush looks amazing. Look at the color on these. Ugh, tulips are about to open. Let's just look at them all, shall we? Yellows. These pretty pink and white ruffly ones. Aren't those gorgeous? Look, I didn't even see these guys. Hey, gorgeous. Over here, hidden, I got a couple of red ones. Look at this guy. I know what you're saying. That's pretty. Here's what else I've been doing. I have kittens under my porch. We have a door under here and we actually just store wooden stuff under here. And I've got a mama and two baby kittens that I have been feeding. She hasn't ate in, it seems like a long time. Hi, honey. Come here, mama. I don't think she'll come out for me. There's traffic and boys playing basketball, but they are under there. She looks like barely bigger than a kitten herself. Hey, mama. And, um, my goal is to make them non-feral so that I can take them to the vet and get them fixed and they can live with us if they want. We'll see if that happens. It's okay, Mama. Springtime is awesome. It's my baby and my nephew. Talking trash, playing basketball. Won't that be nice when we get this driveway poured? Ugh, it'll be lovely. The spinach. We have pea shoots. Okay, it's getting cold out. I'm sweatshirted up, but now I'm gonna plant carrots before I call it a night. Let me show you how I plant my carrots. First thing I did was amend this bed with some of that chicken manure and then I went through and smoothed this top layer down 
more than I would typically with anything else. I want a nice even layer. And then I went through with the hose and saturated it. It's really, really, really wet. I'm gonna plant my seeds and then I'm gonna cover it with cardboard. Carrot seeds are very, very small. I'm gonna do my very best to plant them evenly here. This is the rainbow carrot I'm gonna do first. So I'm gonna have to thin them too much. And then I'm gonna do the embroidered carrot next. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you way in. I don't know if you can tell, but there are some carrot seeds. So I've got a row back here of rainbow, and I've got two rows in front of that emperor. Imperator. Imperator? I don't really know how. Those are orange. So I've got the rows here. The next thing I'm gonna do is water them again. Now I'm just using a mist on this because I don't wanna move these carrots around, but I do want the seeds themselves to be wet. Moist, wet, damp, in that range. Nice and wet. Now I'm gonna cover them. Now, I've used boards in the past. I'm gonna use cardboard uh, this time because I've got a lot of it. And because I feel like it's got a little bit more give than a board. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple things down in there, a couple rocks so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna go ahead and get them germinating underneath this cardboard. So here's why I'm doing this way. Carrots can be very notoriously finicky for germination. They like to be wet, they like to be cool, and they like to be dark. So the best way to do that is to give them a place where they can hide from the sun because it won't dry them out and it will not get them any light. The tricky part is that you have to pull that cover off, whether you use a board or cardboard or whatever, before they start to grow too much. So as soon as you start to see germination and see the little green sprouts coming up, you gotta pull that off. I'm not always great at this. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm mostly not great. <laughs> the boys are playing a video game. They're very excited. I'm mostly not very good at this, but I keep trying. So we're gonna see how these ones do. I'm gonna do the other side of that bed so I get a whole bunch of carrots. I figure if I, <laughs> crazy kids, I figure if I get enough germinated, if I just keep throwing more and more seeds there, I'm eventually gonna get enough carrots to preserve them myself. Okay, so we have a couple weights on these things to keep this cardboard from blowing away. On this side, I did this really Frenchy name. Long Rouge Song, maybe? I don't know. It is, I believe, like a purpley kind of carrot. And then I've got a Chardonnay, and this is a red core carrot, which I think is orange on the outside with red on the inside. So I have got four packs of carrots sewn here. Two over here, two over here, and we'll see how they go. I am also gonna plant myself a couple seeds out here that can handle the cooler temps. Snapdragons are great for this. This is the Tall Maximum Blend and I have this baby mix. Now this baby mix, I am gonna put um, into the cracks of the sidewalk. So here is, this is where I'm at guys. And you see how right there, I've got some um, violets. These are just wild African violets growing. I can put things in here and they grow in the cracks. I did a alyssum one year and it was gorgeous. So I'm gonna do the baby snapdragons down there and this real carpet alyssum like that. And then I'm gonna find a home for these tall snapdragons and for these um, safari scarlet marigolds. And then I've got a packet of dill that I wanna throw out. Okay, I added some tall mixed snaps here next to the parsley. I added a couple in this pot. I thought they'd be really pretty with some snapdragons behind the chive in this pot. And the rest of them I tucked in the bed up on top in a couple spots here to kind of grow up and fall out over the edge, ideally. I guess we'll see how that works. All right, these scarlet marigolds. I did the same thing, but over here in this crack down in here, I planted marigold seeds. So they grew out of the crack and hopefully I get beautiful marigold plants. And then the last one I had to plant tonight was this dill, this jacquat dill. 
and I never have enough dill, so I planted this entire back triangle corner full of dill. So I hope I've got a little Garoba dill there. All right, this was a totally unplanned video about a whole bunch of random things. But look how pretty that garden is. Sun's setting. It's time for me to go take a bath. All right, hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.